Hi. This video walks through the steps to install the latest firmware updates for the boot, app, and trigger settings in your DM10. It also walks through how to install or reinstall the latest factory sound set. Whether you're looking to just ensure that you have the latest and greatest updates for your DM10 module or you want to learn how to go back and forth between the factory sound set and the Blue Jay sound set, this is where you want to be to ensure it gets done correctly. You can find the latest update for your module on the DM10 product page at www.alesis.com slash DM10. Once you've reached the product page, choose the Docs and Downloads where you'll find the latest sound ROM and firmware updates under the heading Software Drivers. Click on the link. This will bring you to the download page. You may need to enter your name and email address to access the download. Click on the link to begin the download and save the file to your computer. Once the download is complete, find the file on your computer. On most Windows operating systems, the default download location is C, the C drive, users, your username, and the downloads folder. Drag the file to your desktop once you find it. This is a zip file, so it needs to be unzipped. On a Windows 7 computer, right click the file and choose extract here. This will create a new folder on your desktop, which contains the program and the files you need to update your DM10 module. Before opening the updater, ensure that you have the DM10 module connected directly to a USB port on your computer. Press and hold the record button on the module and power it on. The screen on the DM10 will then read Load the SYX file into the updater program to install. Once it says that, open the updater application on your computer by double clicking on the DM10 updater file. In the toolbar at the top of the updater program, click the MIDI interface option and choose USB DM10 MIDI interface. Now let's add the new firmware. Be aware that the files must be added in the correct order. Let's start with the DM10 boot file. Open the folder. You can click and drag the file onto the updater or you can choose file, open, Locate the file folder on your desktop and find the file. Once you do, press and hold the record button on the DM10 and choose open. Your DM10 will update and prompt you to reboot. Reboot the module, power it off, and then press and hold the record button to power it back on. The DM10 module screen will say load the SYX file into the updater program to install. Back in the updater, make sure that the interface is still set to USB DM10 MIDI interface. And then load the next file, which is the DM10 app file. You can click and drag it onto the updater while holding the record button 
down or choose file open locate the file hold down the record button and choose open the file will update and the module will prompt you once again to reboot so power it off press and hold the record button and power it back on and load the next file which is the DM10 triggers file you can do this by clicking and dragging it onto the DM10 updater while holding down the record button on the module or choose file open hold down the record button on the module once you find the file and press open the module will update and once again prompt you to reboot now it's time to update the final file. So find the DM10 sound ROM file and hold the record button on the module and click and drag it into the updater or choose file, open, find the file, hold down the record button and choose open. Release the record button once it begins to update. This is a large file and it will take some time to update into the module. Once it finishes updating, your DM10 module will be fully updated with the latest factory sound set. If you have any questions or troubles, the Alesis Tech Support Team is there to help. You can contact them during business hours from Monday to Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at 401 658 Five seven six zero, or by email at any time at www.alesis.com/support.